in the name of allah the most gracious and the most merciful dear students assalamu alaikum this is virtual learning system of pakistan international school taif and in this video we are going to learn about calendar and time <clears throat> let us start from book page 36 in book page 36 the calendar of the year 3000 is given this is calendar and all of you know that in each calendar we have 12 months in each months the number of days are also given the first month is january it has 31 days the second month is february it has 28 days the third month is march it has 31 days fourth one is april it has 30 days the fifth one is may it has 31 days the sixth one is june it has 30 days month number 7 is july it has 31 days month number 8 is august it has 31 days and the month number 9 is september it has 30 days and the next month that is 10th month is called october and it has 31 days the month number 11 uh, 11th month is november it has 30 days and the last one is december it has 31 days so in light of uh, this calendar we will <coughs> solve question 1 2 and 3 the st statement of question 1 is in the year 3000 what date is means write the particular date against each statement the statement one is the first tuesday in october so first of all we will focus on the month the month is october so we highlight the october first this is the month of october and after that we will select the given day day is tuesday so this tu stands for tuesday so we will select the column of tuesday now look at this column the first date is 7 therefore we will write 7th of october here you can write 7 october or 7th of october both are right the second one is the first wednesday in may so the month of may is given so first we select the month of may after that we select the column of wednesday so this w e stands for wednesday we will select the column of wednesday the first date is 7 therefore we will write it's mean it means 7th of may so in this way 
we can write the dates of uh, remaining statements. The next statement is the first Monday in January. So first of all, we select the month of January and first we select the month of January, then Monday, column of Monday. In column of Monday, look at the date, the first um, date is 6th of January. So we will write here 6. Next one is the 4th Saturday of the year. Here month is not mentioned. Therefore, first we select the first month because we want to know about the fourth saturday of the year so these here are some numbers inside the circle this one inside the circle means these days comes first in this month in these dates and this two mean it is this first mean first time second time third time fourth time fifth time mean these day are repeating in these dates these days are repeating second time in these dates similarly these days will come third times in these dates and after that in four times in these dates these days will come so here we want to find the four four saturday so first we circle this in front of four then we see the column of saturday in the column of Saturday, in front of 4, the date is 25. Therefore, we will write 25th of January here. 25th January, or 25th of January here, 6th of January. So, part E. In part E, the statement is 2 weeks after 14 June. So first of all, we will select the month of June and then date. Date is 14. So we write here 14. So after 14, two weeks mean 14 days. We will count 14 days. So after 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we will write in this day the date will be twenty eighth of June. So after that the statement is two weeks after 21st of November. So first we select the month of November, then 21st and then count 14 days after 21st of November. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So here, in place of 14, we have 5. So it is 5 December. Therefore, we will write here 5 December. One week before 10 June. So first we select June. Then we select 10. And then before we will count before, 7 days before. So, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven. So we will write here third jump. In this way, next statement is ten days before eighteenth of April. So first we select month of April, then we select 18, and then we count 10 days before 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we will write 8th April. The last statement is the first day here is First day is not written. The first day of the new millennium. Millennium is a period of one thousand years. So in this calendar, so we will find the first day. In first date, the day is Wednesday. So therefore, we write here Wednesday. First January. In first January, we have Wednesday. Question two. In question two, write these dates in short form. Write these dates in short form. The first one is 6th February 1871. So we will copy this six. We will write six as it is. February is the second month. We will write two. And 1871, we will choose only last two digits. 1871, only we will write 71. Similarly here 23 may mean the this sorry it is fifth month. We will copy twenty seven uh, twenty-three as it is, then instead of uh, May we will write five and then we will copy this forty. Write here your date of birth and after the tomorrow tomorrow's date today is 13 tomorrow is 14 and the current month is may may is the fifth month therefore we write five and the year is 2020 so we will write only 20. here one part is uh, missing 23rd may 1981 this is written 16 July 1947. This part was miss missing. The date is 16 July 1947. Or you can write 49. Here you can replace 49. So we will copy 16 as it is. Then in the month of July. July is the seven month, therefore we will write 07 or 7, it's up to you. And after that, we take last two digits of 1947, we will write uh, 49 or 47. Here 49 is given, so we will write 49. Question three. In question three, we will solve Question three in the light of given calendar. Therefore, I remove question one and two. Look at the calendar for the year three thousand and write the date which matches. <clears throat> the first date is four eleven three thousand. So first of all, I want to tell you here that this is day date. Uh, is 4 11 3000 day 
month and year so first of all we will select month this is month so 11 is given it means 11th month is given 11th month is november so first we select november then date is date is 4 4 is given therefore we will select four so in the above of four which day comes so tuesday tu stands for tuesday therefore we will write here tuesday similarly look at the second one 27 4 3000 so first of all we will focus on month month is month number four so april is given it means we will select month then we will select day date is 27 we will select 27 in the above of 27 look at the above of 27 the day is sunday so we will copy here sunday fifth uh, five one three thousand so first mean first of all we will select the first month then date date is given we will select five this five and after that in the above of five we will get sunday part d one eleven three thousand so first we select month November. November is the 11th month. Therefore, we select first month, then date. Date is first. This is first. So in the above of first, the uh, day is Saturday. The next one is in this way you can write 30 first 10, 3000. We have Friday. Now I'm going to explain page 37. In page 37, what time does the clock show? Write your answer in words and in figures. So here some clocks are given. The first one is in first clock phase. This is hour hand and this is minute hand. So hour hand is in, is in front of 12. And minute he, minute hand is exactly on three. It means the time is twelve fifteen. Twelve. So we will write in figure like this. And fifteen minutes mean quarter. And here this clock shows that fifteen minutes past twelve. So fifteen minutes mean quarter. So we will write quarter past twelve. Here, 11 past 20. So, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes past. So, the R hand is in front of 11, therefore, the time is 11 20. Or you can write 20 minutes past 11. Here, one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mean half hour, half past 4. So, uh, 4 30. Or you can write 4 30. Next question is same. In next question, some more clocks are given. What? Write the time in words and in figures. In first clock, the time is 7.50. You can write 7 and 50, or you can write here 10 minutes to 8, means 10 minutes are remaining to 8 o'clock. Here, 25 minutes are remaining to 2 o'clock, or you can write 135. 
here is 12 this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 fives are 35 meters and uh, the r hand is in front of 1 so 135 or you can say 25 minutes to 2 mean 25 minutes are remaining to 2 o'clock here 15 minutes are remaining to 4 o'clock so quarter to 4 15 minutes mean quarter quarter to 4 or you can write uh, 345 in 5 10 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, 3 hours, 45 minutes. The next one is, write time in figures. Number one, quarter to seven, mean, uh, 15 minutes are remaining to 7 o'clock. It means 6.45. <clears throat> Number B, 20 past 3. So we will write 3, then 20. 3 hours, 20 minutes. Quarter past 10. Quarter means 15. So 15 minutes past 10 means 10, 15. And here, 25 to 11 mean 10.35 here there is a typing mistake 10.35 it is 10.35 quarter to 2 mean 15 minutes are remaining to 2 o'clock therefore we will write 1.45 10 to 10 mean 10 minutes are remaining to 10 o'clock therefore we will write 9 50. So in this way mm, you can write the time. Look carefully at these clock faces then write time in words and in figures. The first one the time is Two or how many minutes? Five, ten, fifteen, forty, forty five. Uh, sorry, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So we can write two or twenty. Seven minutes, or you can write twenty seven minutes past two. Twenty seven minutes past two. Here the time is five ten five are fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. Five fifty three, or you can say. 7 to 11. Here the time is 1 hour 4 5 are 20, 21, 22. 22 minutes past 1. Inshallah, in next video, we will learn more about times how we write the times in words and in figures thank you and allah